Born in 99 in Tasmania, Australia, Errol Flynn rose to fame in the 1930s as a leading man in Hollywood films. He quickly became associated with the image of the swashbuckling hero, known for his charismatic presence and fearlessness on screen. His performances enthralled audiences and established him as a major star. However, Flynn's personal life was fraught with scandal and controversy. One particular incident involving allegations of statutory rape led to a highly publicized trial and damaged his reputation. Despite these controversies, Flynn's legacy as a talented actor remains intact. Delving into the life of this complex individual reveals a tale of ambition, success, and struggle. From his humble beginnings to his meteoric rise to stardom, Flynn's journey continues to fascinate and inspire those who learn of it. The story of this actor's unconventional path to fame offers a glimpse into the allure and pitfalls of Hollywood during its golden age. On June 20, 1909, in the Australian island state of Tasmania, a boy named Errol Leslie Thompson Flynn was born, who would later become a symbol of adventure and charisma in Hollywood. His father, Theodore Thompson Flynn, held a prominent position as a biology professor, while his mother, Lily Mary Young, devoted her time to managing their family home. Growing up in Tasmania, young Flynn received his primary education there before embarking on a journey that would lead him far beyond the shores of his homeland. Flynn's childhood years were spent amidst Tasmania's natural beauty, which perhaps sparked his adventurous spirit. As he navigated through adolescence, it became evident that the actor carried some inherent traits passed down from his academic parents, intelligence, and curiosity. However, destiny had other plans for him than pursuing academics like his father. Instead, the allure of excitement and fame drew him towards a path unbeknownst even to himself initially, the glamorous yet challenging world of acting. Theodore Thompson Flynn, being a man of science, might have envisioned his son taking over his legacy someday, yet life unfolded differently. He watched helplessly as his offspring ventured into unknown territories, exploring roles meant for those possessing courage, charm, and wit. In contrast, Lily Mary Young nurtured her child with love and support, silently hoping that whatever decision he made would bring him happiness and success. Little did she know then that her son would soon captivate millions worldwide. Errol Flynn's education was far from conventional. Born in Tasmania, he attended several schools across the island, where he frequently found himself at odds with authority figures. His rebellious nature often led to disciplinary action, including expulsions, making for a turbulent academic journey. Despite these challenges, Flynn displayed a natural charm and affinity for performing from a young age. He would engage in impromptu performances, captivating those around him with his energy and charisma. These early experiences foreshadowed his future career in entertainment. After moving to England, Flynn continued his studies but never fully settled down. Expelled from yet another institution, he decided to pursue acting professionally, a decision that ultimately changed the course of his life. Throughout his time in various educational settings, one thing remained consistent Flynn's innate ability to entertain. Though his academic record may have been checkered, it became clear that this talented individual possessed unique qualities perfect for the stage and screen. After returning to his native Australia, the aspiring actor Errol Flynn found himself seeking fortune in various ventures. This chapter of his life saw him trying his hand at tobacco planting and even dabbling in gold mining. These experiences exposed him to the rough and rugged frontier life, providing a stark contrast to the glitz and glamour of the Hollywood scene he would later become accustomed to. The wild and untamed terrain of Papua New Guinea became his playground, where he engaged in numerous romantic endeavors. His love life was as adventurous as his expeditions, setting the stage for the tumultuous relationships that would define him in years to come. Despite the challenges he faced, Flynn remained undeterred, always eager to explore new opportunities and take risks. This period of exploration and adventure served as a precursor to the larger-than-life persona Flynn would eventually embody both on and off-screen. Even in these early days, it was clear that the actor was destined for greatness, fueled by his insatiable appetite for excitement and passion. After catching the eye of Australian filmmaker Charles Chevelle, Errol Flynn made his acting debut in the 1933 film In the Wake of the Bounty. This opportunity sparked the actor's interest in pursuing a career in the British film industry. To gain experience and refine his skills, Flynn joined the Northampton Repertory Company in Britain. There, he learned the craft of acting through performing in various plays and productions. His time with the company allowed him to grow comfortable on stage and develop his unique style. 
Flynn's dedication paid off when he began securing roles in films across Britain. With each role, his talent became more apparent, and he continued to hone his abilities. As his reputation grew, so did the demand for his charismatic performances. Through determination and hard work, the aspiring actor transformed into a skilled professional, captivating audiences with his charm and presence. From humble beginnings with the Northampton Repertory Company to his breakthrough role in Enemone, in the wake of the bounty, Flynn laid the groundwork for his successful acting career. After being dismissed from the Northampton Repertory Company due to his unpredictable behavior, Errol Flynn found himself in the limelight when he was chosen for the lead role in the British film Murder at Monte Carlo. This opportunity came unexpectedly, providing the actor with a chance to prove his worth in the industry. His performance in Murder at Monte Carlo caught the eye of the prominent movie studio, Warner Brothers, who were impressed by his charismatic screen presence and dashing good looks. As a result, they offered him a contract, prompting Flynn to make the big move to Los Angeles. This career breakthrough marked a significant turning point in Flynn's life, taking him away from his troubled past and launching him into stardom. Little did he know that his decision to accept the role would change his life forever, propelling him to become one of Hollywood's most iconic actors of all time. Errol Flynn's journey in Hollywood started with minor roles in movies such as The Case of the Curious Bride and Don't Bet on Blondes. In these early appearances, one could already discern the actor's burgeoning charm and potential. Yet it was his groundbreaking performance in Captain Blood that truly launched his stellar career. This swashbuckler film saw Flynn share the screen with Olivia de Havilland, and their chemistry proved electrifying. Their pairing became legendary, setting a high standard for future on-screen duos. Thus, Captain Blood marked both the arrival of a powerful talent and the beginning of an illustrious era in cinema history. Indeed, this classic established a new benchmark for adventure stories and solidified Flynn's status as a leading man. His charismatic portrayal of Captain Blood left an indelible impression on audiences worldwide, forever associating Errol Flynn with daring heroics and chivalrous romance. After the success of Captain Blood, Errol Flynn became a household name and a leading Hollywood star. He continued to captivate audiences with his performances in movies like The Charge of the Light Brigade and The Adventures of Robin Hood. These swashbuckling roles solidified his reputation as a dashing hero, but Flynn was eager to demonstrate his versatility as an actor. Despite Warner Brothers' initial reluctance to stray from formulaic roles, Flynn persisted in seeking out more varied parts. In Greenlight, he played a surgeon grappling with ethical dilemmas, revealing a depth beyond his swashbuckling persona. This departure from his usual type proved that Flynn could handle complex and nuanced characters. Flynn further expanded his range by taking on historical figures, playing both the titular characters in the private lives of Elizabeth and Essex and the Seahawk. His ability to convincingly portray these larger-than-life individuals displayed his talent and willingness to explore different genres. One notable example of Flynn's versatility was his performance in The Prince and the Pauper. By skillfully juggling dual roles, he demonstrated his comedic timing while also delivering emotional depth, another testament to his acting prowess. Additionally, Flynn excelled in biographical dramas as seen in Gentleman Jim, where he embodied boxer James J. Corbett. With each role, Flynn challenged himself and won over critics and fans alike. Throughout his career, Errol Flynn defied expectations and consistently delivered memorable performances in various genres. From action-adventure classics to thoughtful dramas, Flynn left an indelible mark on cinema history, proving time and again that he was far more than just a swashbuckler. Renowned for his swashbuckling roles in films like The Adventures of Robin Hood and Captain Blood, Errol Flynn was also known for his daring exploits beyond the silver screen. His adventurous spirit led him to cover the Spanish Civil War as a war correspondent, where he vocalized his support for the Republican cause. This passion for adventure permeated both his professional and personal life. The actor's personal affairs were often as dramatic as his on-screen performances. He married three times and engaged in numerous romantic escapades throughout his life. These experiences seemed to mirror the exciting adventures found in his movies. Despite these controversies, Flynn remained a captivating figure who left an indelible mark on Hollywood and the world of journalism. His love for excitement and exploration made Errol Flynn a fascinating character both on and off camera. Whether fighting villains in period dramas or reporting from the front lines of a civil war, Flynn brought energy and enthusiasm to every project he undertook. 
With each new role and experience, he solidified his status as a true cinematic icon. Yet, it wasn't just his acting prowess, but also his zest for life that has resonated through generations, making him a timeless figure even today. Delving into the stories of this classic actor reveals a complex individual whose impact transcends the boundaries of cinema and touches various aspects of society during his time and beyond. In 1942, the life of dashing actor Errol Flynn took a dramatic turn when he was accused of assault by two underage women. This scandal led to a highly publicized trial that threatened to overshadow his successful movie career. Despite the salacious allegations, Flynn was ultimately acquitted due to lack of evidence, resulting in a hung jury or mistrial verdict. However, the damage to his reputation persisted. The controversy surrounding Flynn made it challenging for him to secure roles in major studios. Nevertheless, he remained determined to continue his passion for acting and started appearing in lower-budget films. One of his notable post-trial projects included the action-packed adventure Northern Pursuit, released in 1943, where he portrayed a Canadian Mountie tracking down enemy spies. Later that same year, Flynn starred in another war film titled Objective Burma. Set during World War II, this picture highlighted his ability to convincingly play rugged military heroes. Although the production values were modest compared to some of his earlier works, critics praised Flynn's performance. By 1945, the talented actor had regained enough professional ground to land a lead role alongside screen legend Joel McCrea in the western flick San Antonio. Their on-screen chemistry breathed life into this classic tale of cowboys, outlaws, and romance. While promoting the film, Flynn skillfully navigated questions about his past scandals while focusing on his craft. Despite the lingering shadow cast by the legal troubles, Errol Flynn persevered through sheer dedication and talent. His resilience allowed him to maintain a steady acting career and deliver memorable performances even amidst adversity. In the later years of his career, Errol Flynn encountered significant financial difficulties, which led him to explore various roles and projects. Among these were productions such as Kim, and attempted self-produced films like Hello God and Adventures of Captain Fabian. These endeavors reflect the actor's determination to maintain his status despite fiscal challenges. Unfortunately, around this time, Flynn also began experiencing serious health problems related to hepatitis and liver damage. Despite these setbacks, he persisted in taking on acting jobs, even appearing in notable films like The Sun Also Rises, demonstrating his resilience and dedication to his craft. Political activism was another area where Flynn remained active. He lent his support to causes such as the Cuban Revolution, showing interest beyond mere entertainment. His life during this period exemplifies how personal struggles often intertwine with professional pursuits and social commitments. After reaching the pinnacle of his career in Hollywood, Errol Flynn decided to trade the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown for the tranquil shores of Jamaica. The actor, who had become enchanted by the island during the filming of The Black Swan, found a new home in Port Antonio. Here, he became deeply involved in developing tourism, turning the sleepy fishing village into a popular destination for the rich and famous. However, Flynn's life in Jamaica was marked by both joy and tragedy. On one hand, he reveled in his newfound passion for sailing and writing. He even published a novel, Showdown, in 1946. But on the other hand, he faced unimaginable pain when his eldest son, Sean, went missing during the Vietnam War. Despite extensive search efforts, Sean remained lost, leaving his father devastated. On October 14, 1959, Errol Flynn passed away in Vancouver due to a massive heart attack. His death sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, prompting many to reflect on the indelible impact he left on cinema. In recognition of his contributions, the actor received several posthumous accolades, including two stars on the iconic Hollywood Walk of Fame. These tributes stand testament to the lasting influence of Flynn's charisma and talent, qualities that continue to captivate audiences today. In a 29 interview, Patrice Wymore, the third wife of Errol Flynn, shared insights into their marriage and the actor's career. She mentioned his constant yearning for more serious acting opportunities beyond his swashbuckler roles. Known for his charm and adventurous spirit both on and off screen, Flynn had become a true cinematic legend. Wymore revealed how Flynn was often frustrated by being typecast in pirate films, despite his aspirations to demonstrate his range and depth as an artist. He sought meteor parts that would challenge him and allow him to grow as an actor. This desire for substantial roles highlights Flynn's passion for his craft 
and underscores his determination to establish himself as a multi-dimensional talent. Their marital life unfolded against the backdrop of Flynn's thriving film career, which saw him captivate audiences worldwide with his dashing looks and charisma. His personal magnetism translated seamlessly onto celluloid, making him one of Hollywood's most popular leading men during its golden age. Yet, behind the scenes, he remained committed to pushing boundaries and exploring different aspects of his artistry. Throughout the interview, it became clear just how much Flynn left an indelible mark on those around him, including his wives. Even decades after his passing, they continued to remember him fondly and recall details of their lives together. Such recollections serve as testaments to the lasting impact this classic actor had on everyone who crossed paths with him, both fans and family alike. As time goes by, the allure of Errol Flynn refuses to fade, continuing to resonate through generations of moviegoers. While he may have been best known for his buccaneer exploits, there remains so much more to discover about this complex individual whose influence transcends cinema history. Indeed, stepping into Flynn's world reveals a man far greater than the sum of his silver screen parts. In the glamorous world of Hollywood's golden age, few stars shone as brightly as Errol Flynn. Born in 99 in Tasmania, Australia, Flynn found his calling in acting and quickly became a symbol of swashbuckling adventure. He first captivated audiences in films like Captain Blood and The Adventures of Robin Hood, where he demonstrated his impressive swordsmanship and daring stunts. Flynn's charm and good looks made him a heartthrob, but it was his talent and charisma that solidified his place as a legendary leading man. Over the course of his career, he appeared in over 50 films, often portraying heroes who fought against injustice and stood up for what was right. His contributions to cinema remain significant, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers alike. Despite facing personal struggles towards the end of his life, Flynn left behind an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Even today, fans continue to cherish his unforgettable performances and admire his larger-than-life persona. Join us as we delve deeper into the fascinating story of Errol Flynn, a true icon of classic Hollywood. Born on June 20, 1999, in Hobart, Tasmania, Errol Flynn was the son of Theodore Thompson Flynn, a marine biologist, and Lily Mary Young. His mother's death when he was just two years old had a profound impact on his childhood. Raised by his father and stepmother, Flynn attended several schools before being expelled from Sydney Church of England Grammar School. He then worked odd jobs, including stints as a fisherman and a farmhand. Flynn's first taste of acting came in 1933 when he joined the North Shore Theatre Company in Sydney. There, he met dramatist Miles Franklin, who encouraged him to pursue a career in acting. Soon after, Flynn moved to Britain, where he studied at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. However, he left RADA after a few months due to financial constraints. During his time in London, Flynn became acquainted with various influential figures in the theatre scene. One such person was Sir Gerald de Maurier, a renowned actor and manager of the Duke of York's theatre. Du Maurier offered Flynn small roles in some productions, providing him with valuable experience and connections. Another significant influence on Flynn's acting career was Basil Dean, a film director and producer. After seeing Flynn perform on stage, Dean cast him in his first major film role in Murder at Monte Carlo. This opportunity allowed Flynn to showcase his charismatic screen presence and set him on the path to Hollywood stardom. As a young boy growing up in Tasmania, Australia, Errol Flynn was always drawn to adventure. He excelled in sports and had a mischievous streak that often got him into trouble. But it was his love for storytelling and acting that truly set him apart. Flynn's mother, a former stage actress, encouraged her son's creative pursuits and enrolled him in drama classes. It wasn't long before Flynn discovered his natural talent for performing, his charismatic personality, and good looks made him a favorite among his classmates and teachers alike. But it was one particular experience that solidified Flynn's passion for acting. While on vacation in New Guinea, he stumbled upon a group of local actors putting on a play. Intrigued Flynn offered to help out behind the scenes. However, when one of the actors failed to show up, Flynn was asked to step in and take over the role. Despite having no prior rehearsal, Flynn delivered a captivating performance that left the audience in awe. From that moment on, Flynn knew that acting was his true calling. He dedicated himself to perfecting his craft and soon moved to London to pursue a career on the stage. Although he faced many challenges along the way, including financial struggles and rejection, Flynn never gave up on his dream 
His perseverance paid off when he landed his breakout role in the film Captain Blood in 1935. From there, Flynn became one of Hollywood's biggest stars, known for his swashbuckling roles and dashing good looks. Despite his success, Flynn remained humble and grateful for the opportunities that allowed him to follow his passion. And it all started with a chance encounter in New Guinea and a willingness to take a risk. Errol Flynn, born in 1909 in Tasmania, Australia, faced numerous obstacles on his path to becoming a successful actor. Financial struggles were a constant challenge for Flynn. As a young man, he worked odd jobs to make ends meet, even trying his hand at deep sea fishing. But fate had other plans for him. Flynn's journey to Hollywood was far from easy. When he first arrived in America, he struggled to find work due to industry skepticism. Many casting directors doubted his acting abilities and questioned his Australian accent. However, Flynn remained undeterred and continued to pursue his dream. To overcome these challenges, Flynn turned to theater. He joined a traveling theater company and honed his craft on stage. This experience allowed him to perfect his American accent and gain confidence in his acting abilities. Soon enough, his talent caught the attention of movie producers. In 1935, Flynn landed his breakthrough role in Captain Blood which propelled him to stardom. Despite facing significant obstacles early on, Flynn's resilience and determination paid off. His legacy as a swashbuckling hero continues to captivate audiences today. Errol Flynn's breakthrough moment came in 1935 when he starred in Captain Blood, which launched his swashbuckler film persona and solidified his status as a Hollywood leading man. Director Michael Curtis saw potential in Flynn after working together on a small role casting him as the lead in this adventure tale. Co-star Olivia de Havilland recalled, Errol had a magnetism that was undeniable. Critics took notice too, praising Flynn's charm and athleticism. The movie grossed over one million domestically, setting a new record for Warner Brothers. This success led to more high-profile roles for Flynn, including The Charge of the Light Brigade and The Adventures of Robin Hood. His portrayal of the legendary outlaw earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. According to cinema historian Janine Basinger, Flynn brought a certain roguish appeal to every character he played, making him irresistible to audiences. Throughout his career, Errol Flynn continued to push boundaries and captivate viewers, leaving behind a lasting legacy in Hollywood. Errol Flynn, born on June 20, 1909, was an Australian actor known for his swashbuckling roles in Hollywood films. His artistic vision and process were greatly influenced by his adventurous spirit and love for storytelling. Flynn's approach to acting was characterized by a unique blend of physicality and charm. He once said, I like to play parts that have some life to them, something I can get my teeth into. This attitude led him to excel in action-packed roles, where he could showcase both his athleticism and charisma. In fact, before becoming an actor, Flynn had worked as a sailor, a gold miner, and a plantation owner, all of which contributed to his rugged, daring image on screen. His signature style involved meticulous preparation mixed with spontaneous improvisation. For instance, when filming sword fights, Flynn would often deviate from the choreographed routine if it felt unnatural or lackluster, injecting a sense of realism and excitement into each scene. Moreover, Flynn's personal experiences heavily shaped his work. Having traveled extensively during his youth, he brought a global perspective to his roles, infusing them with a richness drawn from various cultures and locales. Furthermore, his own struggles with addiction and scandal added depth to his portrayals of complex, flawed characters. Errol Flynn's legacy continues to resonate today due to his innovative approach to acting and his ability to captivate audiences worldwide. Even now, we can appreciate how his distinctive style broke new ground in cinematic storytelling, leaving behind a vibrant tapestry of memorable performances. Errol Flynn, an Australian actor born on June 20, 1909, quickly became a heartthrob in Hollywood during its golden age. Known for his swashbuckling roles in films like The Adventures of Robin Hood and Captain Blood, Flynn brought a new energy and charm to the silver screen. His impact was significant, influencing both the film industry and future actors. According to film historian Jeffrey Vance, Errol Flynn almost single-handedly invented the modern action hero. Flynn's athleticism and daring stunts set a precedent for subsequent action stars, making him a pioneer in the genre. Flynn also had a profound influence on storytelling. His movies often featured adventure, romance, and witty banter, captivating audiences worldwide. Film critic Leonard Maltin noted, Flynn's appeal crossed oceans because he embodied a spirit of daring do, 
and devil-may-care attitude that resonated with people. Moreover, Flynn's acting technique left a lasting impression. He possessed a unique ability to blend charisma, humor, and intensity, creating unforgettable characters. Actor Keith Carradine commented, Watching Errol Flynn, you can see the blueprint for so many leading men who followed, Harrison Ford, Mel Gibson, even Brad Pitt. In summary, Errol Flynn revolutionized the film industry with his adventurous roles, energetic performances, and influential storytelling. Decades after his death in 1959, his legacy continues to inspire both industry professionals and fans alike. Errol Flynn was known for his dashing on-screen persona, but he also had a rich and complex life off-screen. He was born in Tasmania, Australia in 1909 and moved to the United States in the 1930s to pursue acting. Despite his success in Hollywood, Flynn remained connected to his roots and often returned to Australia throughout his life. Flynn was an avid sailor and spent much of his free time on the water. He even wrote a book about his sailing adventures called My Wicked Wicked Ways. This love of the sea influenced many of his film roles, including his iconic performance as Captain Blood in the 1935 Swashbuckler of the same name. Philanthropy was also important to Flynn. He was involved in various charitable endeavors throughout his life, including supporting children's hospitals and advocating for animal rights. In particular, Flynn was passionate about protecting wildlife in Africa and worked with several organizations dedicated to conservation efforts on the continent. One notable example of Flynn's philanthropic work was his involvement with the African Film Society, which aimed to promote cultural exchange between Africa and the rest of the world through cinema. Flynn served as the organization's president and used his platform to raise awareness about the importance of preserving Africa's natural beauty and biodiversity. Despite his sometimes controversial reputation, Flynn was deeply committed to making a positive impact on the world around him. His personal values and interests informed his work both on and off screen, creating a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences today. Whether sailing the high seas or working tirelessly to protect vulnerable species, Flynn lived a life full of adventure and purpose. Let's dive into the past and discuss the actor Errol Flynn, known for his swashbuckler roles in films like The Adventures of Robin Hood. His charismatic performances left an imprint on the film industry, creating high expectations for action stars. Fast forward to today, where actors face new challenges with technological advancements and evolving audience preferences. To succeed in this ever-changing environment, aspiring professionals must stay adaptable and continuously hone their craft. Errol Flynn would likely encourage young actors to remain true to themselves while pursuing their dreams. In an era dominated by typecasting, he broke free from conventional roles, becoming a symbol of rebellion and charm. This spirit remains essential for modern performers eager to stand out. Additionally, staying informed about current events and societal shifts can help artists bring depth and relevance to their work. Embracing diversity and promoting inclusivity through authentic portrayals also fosters positive change in the entertainment business. Lastly, never underestimate the power of networking and collaboration. Building strong relationships with fellow creatives can lead to fruitful partnerships and opportunities throughout one's career. By following these guidelines, up-and-coming talents can honor Errol Flynn's legacy while paving their path toward success. Born in 1999 in Tasmania, Australia, Errol Flynn's life was marked by adventure and charm. His early years were spent exploring the lush landscapes of his homeland before he found himself drawn to acting. In 1933, Flynn embarked on a career in Hollywood, one that would change the course of cinematic history. With his swashbuckling roles in films like Captain Blood, and the adventures of Robin Hood, Flynn quickly became a matinee idol, captivating audiences with his daring feats and undeniable charisma. Yet it wasn't just Flynn's good looks and physical prowess that made him a star. He brought a sense of innovation to every role, pushing boundaries and challenging conventions. Through his work, he helped shape the way we think about heroes and heroism itself. Even today, Flynn remains an iconic figure whose influence can still be felt throughout the entertainment industry. But perhaps most remarkable of all is how Flynn continued to pursue his passions despite facing numerous obstacles along the way. Whether overcoming financial hardships or personal demons, he never lost sight of what mattered most telling compelling stories that resonated deeply with audiences around the world. Errol Flynn serves as a powerful reminder of the transformative power of creativity and perseverance. Time and time again, he proved that even in the face of adversity, we can achieve greatness if we remain true to ourselves and our dreams. 
So let us take inspiration from this legendary actor and strive to create works that inspire others, leaving behind legacies that last for generations to come. As we take time to reflect on the life and career of Earl Flynn, it's clear his impact on the entertainment industry was significant. Not just a pretty face, Flynn brought depth and charisma to every role he played. His swashbuckling adventures set the standard for action films still enjoyed today. Flynn's choice of parts often reflected his own adventurous spirit, from sailing the high seas to exploring exotic locales. Yet beneath the daring exterior lay a thoughtful actor who carefully selected roles that challenged him both physically and emotionally. His portrayal of Robin Hood remains one of cinema's most iconic performances. With charm and wit, Flynn breathed new life into this legendary character, leaving audiences captivated. Even now, nearly four decades after his passing, fans continue to cherish his work. Now, dear viewer, we invite you to join the conversation. What do you think of Earl Flynn's contributions to film? Which performance stands out to you? Share your thoughts below so others can enjoy them too. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more engaging content celebrating the artists who have shaped our favorite pastimes. Together, let's keep these stories alive.